What's going on? I'd like to thank the Art Census for having me out. My name is Reginald William, and um, I'm going to do like an acoustic set for you, probably about three or four songs. Um, <clears throat> I have my guitarist here, Shelton, I'm also producer extraordinaire uh, for this uh, next sophomore album I have coming out. He's probably going to be the one that's produced like over half the album. And um, to my right, your left, I have Steph, Sapphic songstress, and I have uh, Javon here, helping me out on background, or as I like to call front ground, because uh, uh, their voices are just as important. Um, yeah, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, my name is Reginald William. Uh, my former stage name was R&B, uh, so people will probably still call me that, but um, <clears throat> Just making a little change with this sophomore project. First project I had in 2007 was uh, called The Green Room on iTunes, R&B. Um, so yeah, like this, and that, that first project was a love story. Um, this next project is also gonna be a love story. It's, it's what people call, you know, grown folk music, soul music. It, it falls in that category. Uh, it'll make you feel good, but it's still current. Um, and it's a, it's a different type of a love story. It's, it's more of um, you've been in love for a long time, so how that really looks and um, everything that you go through, you know, the good, the not so good. Um, yeah, uh, just, 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 just real stuff. I, the, the first song I wanna get into is called uh, Abbreviated Love. So even that in itself just sort of um, <clears throat> Hopefully uh, says something, you know, you, you can have sort of like this uh, This perfect relationship, um, but you know nothing is ever perfect you have and, You know in order for the relationship to get better, you know, it can't be perfect You know you got to sort of like fill each other out abbreviated love is, is simply um, About something that's missing every once in a while so the love falls abbreviated, you know instead of L instead of L-O-V-E It's L-U-V, you know and I had this concept of, uh, you know, we do a lot of texting, you know, we do LOL, we do BRB, we do, you know, we do all that stuff. So I wanted to incorporate that into a song and sort of get my point across about, you know, I love being abbreviated um, and needing a little push. So um, <clears throat> that's what this first song is, Abbreviated Love. OMG 
stingy lady How can we give back? All the best PhDs can find a remedy for what we have. Can we get back to the way we used to be when we were the fish, baby? Now it's TTY. next song is called uh, Being In Like. Um, so the album, the, 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 the sophomore album that's going to drop uh, most likely is uh, going to be called In Like um, versus In Love. And <clears throat> this song is very important to me because I realized a very important thing about the idea of being in love that like love doesn't work without the like. Um, because uh, you know, it's just, it's just so easy to sort of be wrapped up in it and, um, you know, to love someone. But, you know, it's the like by like by like by like by like, you know, multiplied that sort of builds up, um, you know, into the love. And so, you know, if you sort of lose that like or if the like is, you know, teetering, you know, at, at the edge of the cliff, then that's, um, you know, there's something to focus on. Um, you know, that's why, I, you know, wouldn't be like, well, I just... You know, why don't you, you know, take me out, you know, let's go on a date or, you know, let's hold hands or let's do, you know, all that stuff sort of lends itself to the like. It's, you know, when you, you know, you first met, you weren't in love, you know, it's like, oh, damn, I like you. You know, like, can we, can we, you know, can we go out? Can we hook up? You know, I, I don't love you. I like you, you know. So <clears throat> that first innocent, you know, part of the, uh, the whole relationship. So. Oh. Oh, oh, this is being in life. Oh, yeah, babe. It sounds so simple to say. All we need is one thing. It's L-O-V-E. When love's dreaming won't wait. And birds won't frolic and play and be sting. You'll need something. I'll need some running shoes to keep on up with you. If I don't like to run, then I'll lose you. You'll have your book of words to use when kisses turn. If we don't like to talk, then what's it all worth? So you only need love. Yeah. You only need love. Yeah, yeah. You only need love. Love. Gonna work out. You only lie. Hey. You only lie. Whoa, oh, oh, lie. You only lie. lie. There's nothing like being in life. It makes no sense to say, say, come on. On a lover's groove with no friendship, we'll swim and lose. I've got my list of to do's. Now they never get twos. No one can teach the will to try. We'll try psychology, test well in history, but still get no degree. Cause we failed at chemistry. Oh, you'll have some literature on how to make it work. I'll steady pray at church. Nothing. So you need love, you need love, you need love, more than love if it's gonna work 
I'm trying to tap into just a wholesome place. You know, I'm trying to tap into a timeless place, a place everyone can relate to, but just just a place where you sort of trust your you trust your gut, you know? A place where the lyrics may not sound as up to date, but it but it means something, you know, but it but it's real. Just um just a real place. Um geez. You know, um, just a place that hits your soul. I mean, I think that's why they call it soul music, you know. Um, a place where everyone can sort of, like, get with and vibe with. I mean, one thing I'm big on is, is, is melody. And, um, you, know, if I, if, you know, I feel like if the melody can get you, then, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, that's a big question, man. I ain't even going to lie and act like I really know. I mean, I just want people to enjoy the music and uh, get a sense for for where I am in my life and, and hopefully they can, you know, they can relate with it. You know. <coughs> just, uh, just a little bit about my background. Um, you know, when a lot of people talk uh, about their influence and stuff, uh, influences and stuff, it's, it's uh, artists that are from, you know, like, you know, 60s, 70s, and, and um, but, you know, classic people like Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, of whom, like, I, you know, freaking love, um, Anita Baker, uh, you know, I, I, like I listened to all that type of, of music growing up, um, and it was a big part of me. But I also listened to like freaking '90s R&B, you know, which was just like late '80s, early '90s R&B for me. You know, there was a certain there was a certain cheesy yet wholesome um, factor to it that um, you know I have, I have nothing wrong with being you know uh, uh, quote unquote. Uh, um, I want to say corny, but just 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 completely open, and completely uh, uh, um, you know, sort of like out there with 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 the with the melody, with the music. Um, I mean, groups like High Five, uh, freaking the Soul for Real, uh, shoot, 
the list goes on. Like all those groups are really loved. Um, and for me, I sort of, uh, you know, was, was singing for a long time. I didn't even realize I was singing for a long time. Um, I did, you know, some church things and I was, I was in the, the church choir, but I feel like I was like a, a late bloomer when it comes to singing. Like I would sing in my head and I would harmonize in my head. Um, and it didn't really, like I, myself, I, you know, my, I didn't tell myself, hey, hey, you can sing, you can sing until like, it was almost like a Homer Simpson moment when like my voice started cracking and my voice changed. Um, like after seventh or eighth, or eighth grade. So, um, but with that said, everything was, was slightly late. You know, I got into church around high school. Um, <clears throat> I started listening back to some of that music and I didn't even start like writing until, uh, uh, until I got to college. Um, I mean, I was doing a little bit in high school, but you know, to lead into this next song, when I got to college, um, it's funny, there was an artist, current artist, um, Eric Benet, that really, uh, when I started writing, I started doing poetry, and I was um, sort of hitting the New York poetry scene, you know, very hard. By the way, I'm from Maryland, D.C., um, the DMV area, but I've been in New York for a long time, so I, I guess I can rep both, right? Um, so yeah, I was listening to Eric Benet, and like there was, there was so much poetry in his lyrics that I think he was the one that sort of helped me um, <clears throat> really get out what I was trying to say and, and translate my poetry into music. Um, and, you know, his lyrics, um, it was, he always, you know, it was a different way that he would sort of uh, say stuff. It wasn't just like, um, um, you know, like I'm in love. It was like in love, I, I'm in with you. Or, you know, some, just a way to sort of flip it, you know. Um, and so lyrically, you know, he held me down. Um, and uh, this next song is uh, one of his songs about 10 years back uh, called I Want to Be Loved. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. As soon as I get my little drink. Say a prayer tonight 
so that we may find Just to be loved by you oh, I want to be loved oh, oh, oh. Faithful and true I want to be loved Ten trillion lifetimes Ten trillion, ten zillion lifetimes And after all I've been through I let my heart Take a chance just to be loved by you. I let my heart take a chance, yeah. Be loved by, by you. you. Oh, oh. I let my heart take a chance just to be, be loved, loved by you. you. Thanks, guys. That was good. I'm feeling all hot. <laughs>